Hey, what's happening guys? Today I've used the supercomputer to consult and find out a good desoldering technique. Actually, the supercomputer had nothing to do with it. I was on the phone this morning talking to my friend B Blood down there in Florida, and he was telling me about a channel that he watches that does CB repairs and showed him this technique. So, first of all, let's talk about different desoldering techniques. Um, we have desoldering braid, which is a woven copper fabric, I guess you would call it. We have the ubiquitous desoldering pump. Not Swedish made, by the way. Um, and those techniques work to an extent, but what you're going to find out is that in double-sided, and more importantly, plated through holes, these techniques will leave solder behind that makes it difficult to get components out. Excuse me. All right, so let's start off first with these simple electrolytic capacitors. And we'll start with the solder, desoldering pump. So all you need to do is, of course, heat up the joint. Make sure the desoldering iron is cocked. Place the tip over the joint. Fire the trigger. And I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it takes some of the solder out. What you can do to make it more effective, and this might be counterintuitive, is to simply add more solder. And now it's done a better job. So let's do that to the other one. Add a little bit of solder. But as you can see, the capacitor is still firmly fixed. So let's try the next thing, which is the desoldering braid. Yeah, you put it on there, heat her all up. What do you get? Well, you get a little bit of solder on there. But if you really want to make it effective, what you do is you add flux to the desoldering braid, which is what I'm doing right there. You add some flux to your desoldering braid. And, as you can see, picks up a lot more. But still, with the plated through holes, it ain't great. So... Let's move on to this new technique that B-Blood taught me about. And for that, I have an assortment of components here to show you that it'll work with all of them. Now, I also stuck a resistor on here. And the reason I did that is to simply show you, you don't need to do that with a resistor. So let me stick this in the frame here. With a resistor, you can generally go ahead, whoops, one moment, as I was saying, with a resistor, you can generally just grab a hold of one side of it, heat her up, I need to be able to actually see where I'm heating. Yep, heater up here. Yeah, and you can just pull it out like that. And then same with the other side. But this technique will work with resistors too, if you know you want to do them that way, but it's really not necessary. So you ready for it? Let's start with this uh, little trimmer pot here, which is a three-terminal device. I'm sure you guys are already screaming. We already know this. I didn't. I don't know how it's passed me by. What I'm doing is I'm applying a buttload of solder here so that I have one giant joint. And as you can see, the component just falls out. Here's a little uh, electrolytic capacitor over here. Same thing. I'm just going to apply 
glob of solder. And just reach in and pull it out. Here's another one. Here's a big electrolytic. Let's see if we can zoom in here some more. Hang on. All right, so there's our big electrolytic. There are the pads. Here we go. If I do it right, it should just fall right out. There you go. And then we have this, uh, like a voltage regulator over here. Same thing. I have to switch hands. It's going to glob some solder on there. And boom. The parts just fall out. That's a pretty cool trick if you ask me. All right, guys, there's all the tools I used. Flux pen, desoldering wick, desoldering pump, pair of pliers to grab that resistor, and solder. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to you. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Oh, you're still here. Well, since you're still here, I guess I can show you around the new lab. I'd say it's about 90% complete. What you're seeing now is the general work table. We have some storage shelves over here. One up there. Computers over here. Got a marsh lamp underneath. <laughs> And we got guitars on the walls. More storage in this closet here. And over here, we find Dogly. Hi, Dogly. What's happening?